Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Pete Olson, the Montana Silver Stacker. Happy Monday, February 12th. And uh, I'm sure all you guys had a phenomenal weekend. Uh, I know I did. It's great to get back at it here. Uh, today's title uh, for this video, guys, is How Do the Top Network Marketers in the Industry Recruit? And, you know, I've been very, very fortunate to be mentored by some of the top network marketers of the, in this industry. I started out 20 some years ago in Equinox underneath uh, Bill Gould and Sherry Sharman. And uh, I, I've been very blessed to be one of the top leaders um, um, in my first silver company uh, and, and worked with and, and mentored by guys like Ray Higdon. Um, and more recently when I was the master distributor uh, at my latest uh, silver company, um, I was mentored by the greatest network marketer of all time, Larry Thompson, right? One of the uh, perennial founders of, of Herbalife, worked hand-in-hand -hand with Jim Rohn. And uh, I've been really been able to turn into a, a recruiting machine. And, and one of the things that eludes most people, and especially, new, in fact, not even newbies, most network marketers, I'd say 98, 99% of network marketers, uh, they're doing everything completely wrong. They're recruiting the wrong people. Um, you know, you, you hear all these things um, about who to recruit in network marketing, and, and you hear, you know, these, these gurus say, everybody, you should recruit everybody. You know, make a list. You know, thank you. Here's some memory joggers for you, and all that BS. You know, the plumber and the next-door neighbor and... Aunt Sally and Uncle Henry and your brother and your postman and the grocer and the guy that works down at the construction company and all that nonsense. And that's all wrong. And believe me, the top gurus that are telling you that aren't recruiting that way. Okay? They're not recruiting that way. They're all doing it one way. Okay? And the way the top recruiters in this industry recruit is they only recruit their target market. Okay, I'm going to say that again. They only recruit their target market. Now, you might say to yourself, well, what is the target market in network marketing? Um, and... That's very simple, guys. That's very simple. It's other network marketers. Whether it be someone that's currently in network marketing or someone that has been in network marketing in the past. I will not recruit anyone that, is, don't, that doesn't have network marketing somewhere in their past. But it's a real, real easy way to think about as far as... Um, network marketing or recruiting in your target market. Let's say that you owned a, uh, a cigar manufacturing company. Would you market to non-smokers? <laughs> of course not. You would market to people that have bought a cigar at some time in the past. If you owned a hockey equipment company, would you market to golfers? Of course not. You would market to people that had bought a piece of hockey equipment at some time in the past. So why in the hell do people try to recruit others that have never shown an interest in the product that you have? It's Marketers don't do that, guys. You recruit those that have already shown an interest in your product. Why is that? Because you don't have, they already understand network marketing, guys. You don't have to convince them on two things. See, when you recruit somebody that um, is not is not in network marketing or doesn't have any network marketing experience, you got to sell them on two things. Not only your company and your product, but you got to sell them on the industry itself. Right? When you're talking to a, a current or former network marketer, they already like the industry of network marketing. They've already been in it. You don't have to sell them on that. That's done. Now it's just a matter of fact if they like you or your product right? In your company. Um, so there is no convincing that has to be done. It's whether they, they like the opportunity or they don't like the opportunity. They love the network marketing industry. 
There's a reason that Aunt Sally's never been in network marketing, guys. All right? There's a reason. She doesn't like it. There's a reason that your college roommate has never been in network marketing. She doesn't like it. Okay? And we'll let, you know, as a big leader, I'll let all the other companies and people that are teaching everyone and their and their their newbies in their company to recruit Aunt Sally and everybody. I'll let other companies build and train them in, in network marketing, so to speak. And then I'll dial them once they have some network marketing experience. Okay? So don't let all the BS and the, the gurus and such tell you to make a list and all that nonsense. All you simply do is you target network marketers. And there's a specific way that you do that. There's a specific way that you do that. And it's with a 30-second pitch. And, and I teach that, guys. And, and, and I, I coach that for network marketers and other companies. Of course, I, I, you know, I teach my downline. Um, you know, I coach my network marketing clients and I work hand in hand with you. And guys, what's so great about recruiting network marketers, you buy, you buy lists of network marketers. It's endless leads. What's the biggest problem with network marketers? They don't have anyone to talk to. I have endless leads. I just make 50, 50 dials plus every day. Just boom, one after the other, one after the other. That's the beauty of it. So... The, the average network marketer does two things very, very wrong. They talk to the wrong people, and they don't talk to enough people. And when they do talk to people, they say too much. So three things. <laughs> okay? So if you guys are interested in learning how the top recruiters in the world recruit with that 30-second pitch, okay, and you're looking to be coached and guided on that, my number and email will be down below, okay? And I'd love to help you become a top recruiter in your company. And uh, I tell you, it's going to change your life, guys, hands down. So don't listen to all the nonsense of the three-foot rule in the grocery store and call Aunt Jemima and Uncle Henry and your next-door neighbor and the plumber and, you know, uh, 19 house parties in the hotel and all that nonsense, Right? The key is dialing into your target market with this specific 30-second pitch. Okay? All right, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you're very, very well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay? Please share it. Please subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments below. And, uh, you know, what you think about what I said today. And are you focusing on your target market? I want to hear from you. Okay? God bless you guys. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.